constructor so initializing the object before, discuss, before, discuss, the before object. discussing about the constructor what is the purpose please mute all of you otherwise it i will be initializing the object sir guys please mute from your end otherwise i will mute all of you so he is just the same now the class now initialize class instance variables class instance variables so constructor what are the rules and what are the rules and regulations we can follow so here constructor name constructor name and same as class name should be same constructor name and class name should be same constructor should not return value even void also even it, it will not return anything even void also okay constructor may or may not may or may not take parameters and constructor get executed at the time of object creation so as a developer no need to call constructor manually manually as a developer no need to call the constructor manually so constructor get executed at the time of object creation so here constructor may or may not take construct uh, arguments so here basically constructor is divided into two types default constructor and parameterized constructor parameterized constructor so here what is the default constructor what is the default constructor it having nothing in parameter yeah the constructor without arguments the constructor without arguments is called as default constructor so here suppose suppose there is no constructor there is no constructor exist in your class then compiler will provide default constructor so here default constructor purpose is purpose is to assign default values to class instance variables that's it so here example as of now class class name emp what is your class name what is your class name what is your class name emp employee emp is there any constructor available as part of your class is there any constructor available no. No. then compiler will provide no. default constructor like this like this so here this is the default constructor constructor without arguments is called default constructor constructor name and class name should be same and constructor should not return any value even void also so that's it okay clear this is default constructor default constructor purpose is to assign the default values to your class variables i will show you don't worry next one parameterized parameterized constructor so the constructor with arguments is called as parameterized constructor parameterized constructor is used to assign specific values to 
class instance variables whatever values you want to initialize it with your class variables then you can go for parameter i constructor that's it so here if you want i will show you in this example is there any constructor available any constructor available no it, then who will provide the constructor and who will provide the constructor jvm jvm not jvm compile compiler compiler will provide the default constructor so while defining the constructor class name constructor name should be same end with parenthesis so along with it will provide block that's it okay constructor should not any should not return any value even void also that's it this is default constructor now parameter i constructor emp here argument 1 arg2 like this constructor with arguments e constructor with arguments is called parameter i constructor parameter i constructor is used to assign specific values to your class variables any questions up to this hello sir yeah sir we will not use void here in constructor void yes suppose you will use, you will use void that is the method okay okay anything can you can you try yeah sure yeah. basically the constructor does not have any return type right yes yes that's why right i wrote down here one minute i will show you should not return any value okay okay yeah if you want again please so maybe join a little bit late so construct again i will read it constructor is used to initialize the class instance yeah sir if you not use for return type then you can use for access modifiers you can use public no need to worry about okay, okay. so constructor okay. is used to initialize your class instance variables constructor name and class name should be same and constructor should not return any value even void also suppose you will keep void or any return type before that constructor that is act as method and constructor may or may not take parameters constructor without parameters is called default constructor constructor with parameters is called as parameterized constructor and constructor get executed automatically at the time of object creation so as a developer no need to call the constructor here up there here general how to create an object here how to create an object how to create an object class name by using new keyword new keyword new key like this right now observe here this is called default constructor here uh, you will create an object to your class by using new operator along with default constructor now how many arguments it will take how many arguments two here How many arguments? Zero arguments or multiple arguments? Mm. Zero Sorry. arguments. Zero. So no arguments. No arguments, right? Now here constructor matches, right? Then object. Please mute. Then const this constructor get executed. Now here, emp is equal to new emp. Now I will pass a comma hyd. Now how many arguments are? Past two arguments. Two arguments. Two argument constructor is there. Yes. Now this constructor get executed. That's it. Any questions? With argument with uh, using for same. Sorry. Uh, arguments with using for same. Yes. Yes. Same argument. Okay. Suppose you are here. You are passing string. Here we will define first argument string only. Okay. Then I will yeah. write the string string. Then I can get the output. Wait, wait, wait. We will we'll dis we'll discuss practical. Then you can understand. Okay. One minute. I will go practical. One minute. This is the study example.
is there any constructor available as of now is there any constructor no. available huh sir is there any constructor available no no constructor. no right yeah we will see compile will so i told right default constructor get provided by the compiler can i show practical can i show proof that one sure yeah, yeah. so this class is available where one minute huh? go to properties e kibe java We'll discuss practical. Here in this folder, us folder is sell point so come here cj01 here go to your dot class file this is your dot class file right yes or no yes sir yeah copy this one now go to net online decompiler online decompiler go here choose file click on this one select this one and upload just for your understanding only so if there is no constructor as part of your class then compile will provide the default constructor or not we'll see so no file okay now click on upload and okay, this one not provided so guys in your mission in your mission anyone uh, jdk install in your mission jdk in your mission jdk installed here not shown here jdk install or not so i will show you uh, i will show you that yeah. one yeah now observe here first i will show you so this is class name constructor should be same end with parenthesis this is default constructor now just assume default constructor now just create an object whether this constructor executed or not we'll see go to here yeah now new class driver finish now here just to create an object now here emp e is equal to new emp ha huh. now here after here you will create an object with the help of new one this is the default constructor right this is what default constructor so now right click and execute so can the constructor get executed at the time of object creation as a developer no need to call the constructor any questions 
hello so clear right now observe here by default uh, is there any values assigned to this one huh? hello is there any values initialized to your class instance variables no sir, no, sir. no then default values get initialized right the default values get initialized with the help of default constructor so in no need to write like this internally it will take care internally it will take care okay no need to write so always default constructor purpose is to initialize default values okay yeah now observe here again you will go here yeah any questions any questions yes, yeah tell me uh, can you just explain it once again so here what is your class name emp, EMP. class name and constructor name should be same and basically okay. constructor purpose is to initialize your class instance variables and constructor get executed automatically at the time of object creation as a developer no need to call the constructor so again constructor is divided into two okay. types okay. default constructor and parameterized clear okay uh, default constructor purpose is to initialize default values to your class instance variables now example one minute huh? so can you go parameter I constructor now hmm? parameter is a constructor can i go parameter I constructor huh? hello sir one more door yeah. sir yeah, go ahead. Then please ask, guys. Sir, if you have any yeah. doubts, please. Yeah. Sir, we can use for instance variables only, but uh, I, I, uh, we can use for uh, local variables also. No, no, no. Local variables are specific to within your method only, right? It will not visible to outside the method. Suppose any okay. variables are not visible outside the method, there is no use. That's why uh, constructor specific purpose is to initialize your class instance variables only. Okay. 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 Sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One minute, guys. I will. I will complete constructor, default constructor, and parameter. Then you can ask the questions. Okay. So this is default. Suppose, is there any construct? One minute. Is there any constructor available now? Is there any constructor available? No. 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 Constructor. No. Then who will provide the com compile uh, constructor? Compiler. Compiler. Default constructor will provide. Yeah. Now observe here. Now this is the constructor or method. Constructor. Okay. Default constructor. Now method without return type. Super, super. Yeah. Now I am going to design parameter constructor. So now int employee number string. Employee name. Ah, so how many? So this is the constructor contain how many arguments? Two arguments. Two arguments. Two arguments. Two. Now ENO is the instance variable and assigned to this value which is coming from main method. Any questions? Any questions? No. Any questions? Hmm? So these two values, the, these are the local variables. These values are substituted by the uh, constructor at the time of object creation. We'll supply some values. If you want, just we'll give this out. Parameterized. 
parameterized constructor that's it yeah. any questions now observe so in this case which constructor get executed default or parameterized default hmm? default parameterized. now no parameterized now, only one parameterized. Uh, uh, only one construct one, constructor with one argument is there no uh, then error put the, put the cursor yes. here uh, <clears throat> boss there is no constructor with a single argument your machine should pass two arguments now parameterized constructor will be executed parameter constructor get executed and any supply to employee number a is supply to e name now run it yeah parameter constructor called or not called called huh? yeah. called now observe oh. I, I will call display method uh, whether that values are initialized to your instance variables or not just we will verify yeah observe working or not working yeah working. clear guys everyone clear yes sir hello so if you yeah. want to initialize specific values to your class instance variables then you can go for parameterized constructor suppose so default constructor purpose is to initialize default values to your class instance variables observe here can i discuss one more case here what are the local variables in this case what are the local variables what are the local local yes, variables int e you know huh? in number e and and one e name ah. oh, yes. e and one e name what are the local variables What are the local variables? E no zero, e name null, and uh, no no no. Wait wait. My nothing. question is, what are the instance? What are there the instance are variables? No variables? There is no local variable no, because wait. there is no method. Int e oh, number, no, no. string e name. Ah, uh, e and o e name. These are the instance variables. The this constructor contain two variables, employee number and employee name. These two are the local variables. The variables which are defined inside the method or inside the constructor that is called local variables local variable scope is within the method only suppose you will try to access outside the method please observe here yeah. now observe put the cursor here uh, this variable is not defined clear clear yes, sir. Yeah. that's it now these two are the local variables. now your question is uh, local variables and instance variables having same name right this is one more scenario so e and o e name uh, in this case these two are the uh, local variables these two are uh, instance variable instance variables in this case instance variables and local variables are same then high priority suppose while so now what is the output guys in this case what is the output what is the output default value yeah why yeah default zero and null i will explain again here observe here here e n o equal to you are assigning e n o equal to 10 right like this but e n o first it will verify even what definition is there where it will be there here only right yes or no hello yes you are, yes. You are assigning 10 value to the envo but first verify this envo definition is available here or outside suppose envo definition is within the method within the constructor then it will not go outside and it will not assign uh, that value to outside clear now that's why yeah. default values are initialized now in this case how to resolve to resolve this one this dot if local variables and instance variables are same then you can use this keyword to differentiate local variables and instance variables this dot variable name represents again i will hear this dot variable name always represents 
init trans variable now run it any questions you are uh, write the distort uh, variable name we can access this dot uh, class name also no 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 here is that en1 nothing but suppose local variables and instance variables having same name you can differentiate instance variables and local variables by using this keyword constructor chaining so constructor chaining nothing but process of calling one construct inside another constructor he is called as constructor chaining so calling one constructor inside another constructor he is called as constructor chaining so generally we will use we will use this keyword to call to perform constructor training that's it so now this your arguments is used to current class default constructor now this dot value one comma value two now to call current class parameterized constructor that's it now my question is so constructor calling should be in first statement so example i am calling parameterized constructor calling parameterized constructor from default so my requirement is you should so first requirement calling parameterized constructor from default so generally to call the default constructor this without arguments is used to call the current class default constructor this with arguments is used to call the current class parameterized now here my requirement is again if you want so here your question from main method from main method itself you can call default constructor from default constructor itself you can call parameterized constructor that is our requirement that is our requirement go here now go here now from main method you are calling default constructor from default constructor to this is the default constructor you are calling parameterized so now observe here so 10 comma a i am calling now observe i noted one point constructor calling should be the first first statement that's why it will throw the error so copy this one put here line number one so now from default constructor to we are calling from default constructor to parameterize that is our agenda now run it oh. that's it now next one one minute i will copy this one next next opposite requirement calling default constructor from parameter i constructor that's it 
guess this is how to call one constructor within another constructor from main method you will call parameter constructor from parameter constructor to you are calling default constructor so here again i will explain constructor without arguments is used to call current class default constructor and this dot value one comma value two to call current class parameterized constructor that's it now from main method you are calling parameter constructor from parameter constructor to you are calling default constructor now here you are calling default construct how to call default this with without now remove this one now this constructor get executed that's it that is our requirement so constructor chaining is nothing but how to call one constructor from another constructor within the same class only that is our agenda that's it so please observe here go little bit up default constructor also called that's it so this is overall about uh, constructor sir instance variable when we use in uh, constructor can it is make as a local variable no 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 not like this as a arguments you can define i will show you yes so you got the notes right yes sir yeah now here here these are called local variables local variable the variables which are defined inside the method or inside the constructor are called a local variables local variable scope is within the method only outside the method we can't access this is yeah any questions but sir, when, when sir local variable and instance variable same then, uh, ah, then instance variable this keyword yeah suppose okay. you can give local variables and instance variables same then we will differentiate what is local variable what is instance variable by using this keyword this dot variable name always represents instance variable but sir we been declaring constructor variable that is local variable variable always yes no 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 this this is local variable but here in this case what are the local variables en1 enm right yes 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 sir no but in same here instance variables also same name then how to differentiate so basically our constructor is used to initialize your instance variables right in this case in this case you will take local variable value and assign to your instance variable that's it yes sir. Uh, actually in short uh, instance variable uh, should be used as uh, this key this uh, keyword now sir yes yes suppose local variables and instance variables having same name we will use the this keyword before that variable that represents instance variable so whenever we use like this always it will go to always it will go to your one minute huh? your instance variable here and assign that value to this variable that's it okay sir. okay okay yeah any questions uh, sir, uh, I have one question. If we yeah. do not initialize uh, initialize a variable uh, within the default constructor, uh, then I mean uh, en equal to zero and ename equal to null. If we do not uh, initialize this variable, uh -huh. Uh -huh. suppose you cannot define any uh, initialize any values to instance variables. Default uh, constructor by default get called and assign the default values to your instance variables no need to initial no need to assign default values to your class instance variables so by default compiler will take care okay